Pardon, my tardiness, s'il vous plaît. I was perfecting a swordplay maneuver with my personal secretary, Van Driesch. You see, I am preparing for an exhibition this evening with Monsieur Pierre Ribon, huh? a fellow countryman with a fine ranch in Montana territory. Ah, mais oui. It is a bon art fencing, huh? The one that has served me well in the circles of gentlemen abroad. Well, I can tell you, Van Driesch is most fortunate to have received only the smallest of scratches. Ha! You see, during our practice, we discuss the closeness of the Bastille Day celebrations in France. Bah! I mean, the very thought of it makes my blood boil. Bastille Day is rather like your American Independence Day, eh? but in France. It marks the end of the monarchy and the rise of a republic. If France is ever to regain her proper respect and position in the world, she must again see a king return to their throne. Oh, pardon. Uh, perhaps it is rude of me to discuss French politics with you on such a day. Eh? Or perhaps you are here because you have heard the recent rumors about the closing of the abitoire. Perhaps you have also heard that my exquisite Marquesa and I are planning to leave Dakota. Huh? Well, I see I am correct. Well, you are correct to come to the authority. These rumors are put about by the Beef Trust in Chicago and my enemies in Dakota. These men hope to damage my reputation and destroy my many successful enterprises. Ha! C'est impossible. Three years ago, the train stopped in Little Missouri and Van Driesch and I stepped down into a dilapidated cantonment. The train depot itself was barely more than a shack. Pyramid Park Hotel. <laughs> if you can call an establishment with 14 camp cots in a single room, a hotel. Several saloons, a general store, several residences, most of which were nothing more than mega shacks or huts. Well, no wonder the local people called this place Little Misery. <laughs> well, not willing to risk the hotel conditions. Van Driesch and I decided to camp on the east side of the river. Ah, we traveled well, Van Driesch and I. We came prepared for frontier conditions, with sturdy tents, rugged gear, and of course, good wine. Now, once the camp was set, and I had surveyed the wondrous possibilities, I had Van Driesch bring out a bottle of wine. Van Driesch, I said, we will locate here. I will build a town here named for my beautiful wife. And with that, I splintered the bottle of wine over the tent peg, christening the site forever, Medora. <laughs> 